Hello, a very good day to all of the judges and this is my presentation for my project titled Autonomous Storage Robot with RFID Tracking. In terms of sustainability, this prototype is sustainable in every aspect. For instance, environmental. This prototype is electricity powered, which means that it uses no dirty energy and gives out no pollutants that can pollute the environment. Second, it is made from recyclable materials, as you can see in the picture. It is the main body frame of the prototype is made out of wood. So lastly, it operates at low voltage, which means the efficiency of this prototype is great. Next, moving on to the social aspect of sustainability. Um, in Heinrich Triangle Theory, it is proved that for all the unsafe acts and conditions that is done in the workplace, it is closely and directly related to all the injury, severe injury and fatalities in a workplace. Therefore, what this prototype offers is it can lower the risk of injury in workplace. Besides that, it is also user friendly, easy to use, making it even less prone to injury. Thirdly, economical. This prototype, all the companies use are very easily accessible. Besides that, it is also inexpensive. Thirdly, it is compatible for mostly programmable uh, platforms. So why do I consider this prototype as useful? Well, first of all, it's, it helps you to carry your heavy inventory so that you don't have to do it your own and it lowers the risk of injury by doing that. Then it is autonomous, which means that it follows you by itself. You don't have to physically control it. And then it works on low voltage has a decent payload and is applicable in workshops. Well, in industries, format mechanics technicians, they benefit from this prototype the most because of their heavy inventory they have to carry while uh, maintaining or repairing a heavy duty machinery. Besides that, this can also benefit the partially disabled, the injured, and any heavy duty machinery because the main idea of this prototype is to help you to carry your, your head payload for a distance. Now, what makes this method of uh, prototype special? Well, it emphasizes the use of RFID and from that, RFID technology is high accuracy and has minimal experience and lastly, it is user friendly. So why do I say that? Compared to other methods such as GPS, uh, GPS is working out. So if garages or workshops will not benefit GPS. Moving on, the packing tracking or ship tracking. Those are high accuracy, but it's anywhere outside the line. Before I go into the demonstration of the prototype, I'll have to explain the entire flow of the system. So first of all, the user will hold a module that has a microcontroller, a transmitter module, and a motion tracker module. So the user will move around freely wherever as he wants, and then the motion tracker module will pick up the signals and the information and it's sent through the transmitter. So once the message is sent, it is received by the receiver in the prototype, in the robot. So in there, the, uh, the receiver is embedded to another microcontroller, a microprocessor, Arduino Uno, and with servo motors. So from there, the information and the uh, data received are being processed to understand that where did the user travel. So the microprocessor can power the servo motors to follow the user accordingly. So right here in this video, the user is trying to simulate um, a forward 
and then a left. So as you can see right here, the robot accidentally moves towards the table and the user immediately makes a correction right and the robot successfully picks up that signal. Alright, before we move into the next video, I have to explain why does the prototype move in a second interval. The transceiver modules that I've been using uh, which is the transmitter and the receiver module. It's um, a LoRa module by Rayax and it only allows one transmitter per second for receiving. So meaning, it, meaning that the transmitter keeps on sending out data and the receiver will pick up the data transmitted every second. Therefore, the robot moves in a second interval. So in this second video, the user is trying to uh, demonstrate a right turn. So it goes forward first, keep in mind where the user turns. That's the exact position where the robot turns. And as you can, as you can see here, this is another factor that um, helps the robot in moving, which is RSSI value. That means the radio signal strength indicator. So in the program wing of this prototype, the radio signal strength is analyzed every second as well. So if the user moves far away from the prototype, which means the radio signal strength is weak. So therefore, the robot is programmed to move closer to the user whenever the signal is weak. Therefore, you can see during that video, when the user moves away from the robot, it will catch up.